step by step. Continuity, trust in the process and trust in the universe or trust in the words. Why I'm telling you this? Because sometimes it's just the action merged with the right intention which is going to bring the difference. So often we talk about the things that if you can do them will lead to success. But what are some of the things you need to not do? Well, today we talk about the biggest thing you should not do of all, and that is stay within your comfort zone. But how do we step outside of the comfort zone? Well, today I sit down with the Shaolin master, Shu Hung Yi from the Shaolin Temple Europe, and he teaches us Shaolin techniques and how you can use them to step outside of your comfort zone. Today's video was made possible by the Not A Journal, a journal where it breaks down your life goal, your yearly goal, your monthly goal, your daily goal into daily tasks to get it done. There is not another journal out there that is more productive than this. And it's called a Not A Journal because it cuts out all the fluff that all these new journals are doing at the moment, where you have to do all these different charts and all these weird and wonderful things. This is about getting it done. This is about getting your tasks, getting your dreams. This is where it happens. The video is also sponsored, so if you use code JOURNAL today, with a link in the description, you get 10% off the journal as well. Thank you to everybody who's supported us on that. You can also get the Momentum Mori poster with 10% off using code STOIC and the t-shirts down below, and all the profits go back into creating this content. But before that, how do we use Shaolin teachings to step outside of our comfort zone? Let's dive in to the video. I think that we are becoming comfortable with all of the things because we have repetitively already spent time with them. The first time you are experiencing the cold, it's uncomfortable. The more you train it, the more you practice it, the more you expose yourself to the cold, I think sooner or later you are getting a little bit more at ease being in the cold. Meanwhile, also to the point where you maybe even feel comfortable outside in the cold. The same is like you're not feeling comfortable speaking in front of an audience, in front of a, a, a crowd. You practice it, oftentimes you repeat this same pattern and then sooner or later that uh, stage fever maybe disappears and at the same time you're becoming more comfortable. So comfort is very often related to the fact you have already experienced, you have already went through a certain amount of times. This is why you are feeling comfortable in that situation. Vice versa. What does it now mean if something is making you uncomfortable? You are feeling uncomfortable or you are facing the fact of uh, being uncomfortable. That just means you are reaching a borderline. You are reaching a limit that you until now have not yet crossed often enough. Why do I think it is necessary to cross the lines, to cross your own limits and lines from time to time? Because elsewise you will be stuck in your own limited view of what you have experienced already. If you are living a comfortable life, it only means you are continuously staying inside a field of what you know already. Either from this life or you just have not proceeded yet from, let's say, past generations. So every time you are crossing that line, every time you are expanding that border, you are expanding that limit, for me, this means there is some growth. There is some, there is some new discovery. Because what you are doing is, you are bringing light into a space 
that before that time was a space of uncertainty. It's uncomfortable because you don't know the outcome of what is going to happen if you cross that line. That's why it's uncertain. That's why people are afraid of uncertainty. But there is only one way to find out and make uncertainty become knowledge. And that one is through experiencing it. After you do it, then you know. People ask me in the, in the type of trainings, yeah, so for what should I now stand half an hour in that position? What is it good for? Why should I breathe like this? Why should I breathe like that? Why is the, why is the finger positions like this? Why is it like this? Why are there so many different things? You just can't explain it by words. Somewhere these words are hitting a barrier. And that barrier can only be broken in the moment where the knowledge, the intellectual knowledge, starts to transform into action. And that action is going to bring you the answer. And this answer is what in our tradition we really refer as that is knowledge now or sometimes we call it wisdom it is that type of knowledge that came because of your own discoveries that is the real knowledge the knowledge about that your teacher a friend somebody is telling you that you know up here that's like the intellectual knowledge, the pre-knowledge, the type of knowledge that now, first of all, needs to transform into action. Action transforms into experience. And experience gives you what you need in order to move on. The biggest thing that can inhibit your success is the comfort zone. To stay within the comfort zone, to fear the comfort zone is where success stops. So many people are not willing to step outside of that because they fear failure. They fear the, the unknown results that may, may occur. And for me, I've seen so many friends and so many family members not take that first step because they don't want to step outside of the comfort zone but it is a must. Growth is beyond the comfort zone. Growth is in the discomfort. Growth is in the failure. So you need to do those things to be better, to learn more, to take note and become more successful. So you must step outside the comfort zone. So you take this video, take these teachings and figure out a way to step outside the comfort zone. For me, the way I like to do it is exposure therapy. Take something that you feel is uncomfortable and do it in incremental steps. Uh, for me, sometimes that could be calls with certain people and I will, I will make sure I do those things. And trust me, after you've taken it a few times, you will get better. The fear lessens, you realize you're not in any danger and actually I'm learning a lot of stuff. And the biggest tip of all I would like to tell everybody is rejection and failure is not as bad as you think. You just need a few of them thrown at your face first so you can understand that and your brain will realize, I'm not gonna die, it's not that bad. I'm still alive, I was rejected, it hurt my ego a little bit, and I move forward, and that's it. It's that simple. Today's video was made possible by the Not A Journal, the only journal that takes your goal, your life goal, break it down into your yearly goal, your monthly goal, your weekly goal, you reaffirm them every day, and then it breaks that down into daily tasks. This is how I get everything done. It's how we built the studio, it's how we built this business, and I recommend it to everyone. And thousands of you guys agree as well, so thank you to everybody who supported us. You can now get 10% off today if you use code journal linked down below, and you can get the Momentum Mori poster using code STOIC for 10% off, a poster that reminds you that you're gonna die, another tool that I use to remind me just how precious time is. And then you can also get the Inspire Change t-shirts as well, linked down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the person who starred in this video, Master Sha Hong Yi, please head over to Shaolin.online and also onto his socials and just say a massive thank you to him for all these lessons he's offered up to the Mulligan Brothers family. So thank you so much, guys. Have a blessed and productive day. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.